Hoy, bumilagsak. <laughs> this is the monitor that Ren is looking so longingly at in that last shot. It's from Prism Plus, sikat na brand na galing Singapore, and its specs are super good for the price. 27 inches, 1,500 yung curve, 2K, 144Hz, 1 millisecond response time with adaptive sync. Sikat na sikat tong brand na to sa Singapore, pero dapat ba siya sumikat sa atin? Let's find out. <laughs> Prism Plus X270 Pro. So, tara, sana natin. Patulo. <laughs> Asa niyo para? Okay, so ito yung inclusions sa box. So, we have yung manual, yung uh, display port, cable, yung power brick, and yung power cable, the arm, and yung stand. Try na natin i-assemble yung lahat. <laughs> okay, I think ito muna. <laughs> so, what? So, ayan, yung unang screw sa ilalim. <laughs> Magkiklip ba ito? <laughs> ayan, okay, I think okay na siya. Okay, hindi naman siya natanggal. <laughs> Now, yung nasa back part ng monitor, i-attach na natin yung arm. Then, we need yung screws. Ay, yun yung ko. <laughs> It's a screw lang ako. Okay, and isa dito. Hindi ko, ko na ang sa taas. <laughs> okay, hindi na siya moving. Okay na. Okay, since nakabit na natin ngayon yung um, stand, yung arm, and yung back part ng monitor. Kabit na natin yung monitor. So, sa likod niya, merong ano dito, uh, ipupush pa taas. I think ito yung maglalak sa, sa kanya, sa monitor. Kung ikayo mag-a-assemble nito, ito gagalawin nyo, wag ito, ha? Itataas nyo lang siya. And, mag-auto-lock na siya. <laughs> Parang seller dito. <laughs> ito na, ang grand reveal. Tana na eh! So this is the Prism Plus X270 Pro. This is a sponsored review, but to be honest, we wanted to do this review. Kasi sobrang bihira makahanap ng monitor with these specs at that price. And we'll start out with the specs first, the three most important for monitors. Number one is size. This is 27 inches. 27 inches is the ideal size for all sorts of games. Para may breathing room naman yung game. You can actually appreciate the graphic details happening around you or your character. Kung naglaro ka sa comp shop dati, usually 22 inches, 24 inches, alam mo yan, parang sobrang sikip nung monitor mo, di mo ma-enjoy yung game. 27 inches is really the sweet spot, both for your gaming enjoyment and for the physical limitations of a lot of our setups. Yung mahirap kasi kung bumili ka ng malaking monitor, tapos hindi pala kasha dun sa workspace or sa gaming space mo. But for most people, 27 inches will fit into whatever setup you have. Now, if you know me, you know my philosophy for monitors is always bigger is better. But even I have to admit, for a long time, naka 27 inches ako for my primary monitor. So I can speak from experience when I say that 27 inches is really an ideal size right now. Next most important spec is the refresh rate. And this comes at a very respectable, quite fast 144Hz. Pataas ng pataas yung refresh rate ngayon. But 144Hz, again, is the sweet spot for a lot of gamers. Regardless of the game that you're playing, kung RPG man yan, first-person shooter, strategy, third-person isometric, any sort of game, 144Hz will be your sweet spot. Yes, if you're a pro gamer, you'll probably want higher, and there are bonkers monitors that go up to something like 360Hz. Pero sobrang mahal ng mga yon. And really, you don't need them. For 99% of the gamers out there, 144Hz will serve your gaming needs just fine. And that's the spec of this X270 Pro. And the last most important spec is screen resolution. And this comes out at 2K or 1440p. Dati, 1080p would be the standard for gaming. But as more and more GPUs come out na kaya mas mabilis at mas mataas na refresh rate, 
you're seeing games and you're seeing graphics cards that actually have an optimal viewing experience at 2K. You don't lose anything by going up to 2K. In fact, that's the ideal resolution now for a lot of games. And that's the max resolution of this monitor. So for the basic specs, the Prism Plus X270 Pro checks all of the boxes. Ideal screen size at 27 inches, ideal refresh rate at 144Hz, and ideal resolution at 2K slash 1440p. Now this is a curved monitor and that might be a plus or a minus for some people. Its curvature is 1500R which supposedly is the ideal curvature to match the vision of a normal person or the peripheral vision of the user will extend just up to the edges of the monitor for a more immersive experience. To be honest, I don't use a lot of curved monitors. I know some people who do actually look for them because they find them to be more immersive. Although this monitor kind of straddles, again, that sweet point na kung di ka mahilig sa curved monitors, hindi ganun ka grabe yung curve. You won't feel off-put by it na, ugh, or my eyes can't adjust. But the curve is pronounced enough that if you're looking for a curved monitor, you can definitely see the difference. Other specs, it does come with one millisecond response time, which is an indication of how how fast the colors can change. Although it's very easy to come up with a fast number. Wala kasing exact testing standard. But from my personal point of view, I never saw any color lag between the changing of colors between different scenes in games and in videos. So no problem on that front. And speaking of personal experience, yun naman talaga yung pinakamahalaga sa gaming monitor. That set aside first the specs. Maganda ba yung gaming experience? And from what we've seen, the answer is a big yes. The Prism Plus X270 Pro goes beyond the specs. It does have adaptive sync, which is just a fancy way of saying that your graphics card is able to output properly without any screen tearing or jaggedness. And that's true from our experience. We never saw any screen tearing or jaggedness when we were playing with this monitor. It is an immersive experience and that's what you're looking for in a gaming monitor. I do have to mention that this is a VA panel. And again, if you watch my other reviews, you know that I was a big IPS fan before switching to OLED. For VA, positive points are usually it can come at a cheaper price and it can pump out the refresh rate. The downside usually is that the colors are not as nice as compared to an IPS. To be fair with the Prism Plus X270 Pro, there weren't any jarring instances when I was playing or watching videos that I thought, pangit naman ng video quality nito. Everything was very decent. In particular, it does dark colors well. So if you're seeing the current scene from Genshin, the dark blues, the kind of background of the castle, the grayness, the black, this monitor handles darker colors well. When it comes to brighter palettes like Valorant, there is a bit of mutedness, especially if you've seen it on an IPS or an OLED setup. But again, for the price point, this is already very good performance and very good quality for the basket of specs that you're getting as well as the panel quality. It's really an apples and oranges kind of thing when you start comparing VA and IPS and OLED. So just focusing on the Prism Plus X270 Pro, the image quality is quite decent, especially when it plays to its strengths like darker scenes and darker colors. So this monitor has a lot of things going for it. Kahit yung pinakalikod niya, may parang blue na pod shape effect. And it's not like may functionality yun. It's not like makita mo all the time. But it just goes to show the level of detail that went into this monitor. Pinag-isipan siya. Hindi lang siya generic na hardware na linagay yung company name and yung product number. Pinaghirapan yung monitor na to. And most importantly, Singaporean brand siya, pero may local presence na. So there's a three-year local warranty. If ever magka problema, you can go to the brand directly. Instead of having to contact somebody in Singapore, baka matagal pa yung replacement, Prism Plus has a local presence in the Philippines. So if you're interested in this monitor, you can learn more in the link in the video description below. Plus, the monitor will remain dito sa shop natin. So if you actually want to see it, para makita talaga ng mata mo yung quality ng monitor, punta lang kayo sa Hardware Sugar. You can see it play videos and time permitting, baka makaluro pa kayo on it. Just if you're interested so that your eyes can see for yourself, you can judge for yourself yung quality level ng no monitor na to. And it's super exciting now. Before, these specs were super expensive. 27 inches, 144 hertz, 2K. Sobrang mahal nun dati. But now we're reaching the point that it's becoming more easily accessible. This goes for around 12,000 pesos. 
which is a little bit high, but compared to everything else, mura na siya. Great value for money for what you're getting. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.